Hi, and thank you for watching. On today's show, we have Pioneer's brand new AVH X 2800 BS. We're gonna unbox it, show it to you, so stay tuned. All right, so we have in the new radio, we're gonna open it up, show it to you, and tell you a little bit about it. So what comes in the box, Fernando? That stuff, right there, all right, done, see ya. <laughs> oh. uh, remote control. Uh, USB extension, about four feet. Uh, bag with a Bluetooth microphone. Wiring harness. Bag of screws. Mister. Big owner's manual. Look how thick that thing is. Don't be scared. It's for five radios. And a warranty card. All right. Let's get it out of the body glove. As usual, we're going to start with the back of this bad boy and see what she has. Okay, let's take a look at the back. We have... Oh, I already said that. Alright, so we have the rear view camera input. We have the input for the AVIC U260 add-on navigation system. We have the one and only USB input. We have the AV input right here. So you have the video on the left and right. You have the video out to go to some rear seat entertainment. You have your six channel, four volt preamp output right here, in which is front, rear, sub. Okay, so in the other side of the radio we have the microphone input, the steering wheel control input, the Sirius XM, the antenna, the aux and the power plug. All right, so that's all the little orifices. Orifices? Mm -hmm. Is there an S on the end of that? Spots on the back of the radio that need to be filled. We're gonna spin it around, power it up, and talk to you about the stuff. It's new and cool and yeah. So we got it powered up. The screen is new this year, correct? Yes, yes. Tell us a little bit about the screen. So that's 6.2 inch LED backlit WBGA clear assist screen by 800 by 480 pixels. That's right people, they're not 1080. As much as we'd like to hope they are, 800 by 400. 480, my bad. Okay, so we've just powered it up. Mm -hmm. It's got a menu on here. Let's walk you through what you do with it once you buy it, put it in your dash. All right, so we have, the first thing that comes up is language selection. We're going to tell it what language we want it to be displayed in. So English, Spanish, Portuguese, French, and that one. All right, we'll go forward. Next, do we want network or standard mode? Most people are going to want standard. Some people want network. Uh, if you don't know what network mode is, check out our video on network mode. It's a long one, but it really gets to the point. All right, click OK. Next is the smartphone setup. Are we going to use an iPhone or something other than an iPhone? So Android, Windows, Blackberry are all going to be other. And then iPhone is obvious. And do I want to plug my phone in or do it over Bluetooth? So if I have an Android phone or something like that, we want to leave it on App Radio 1. That's going to tell us that you're going to want to do Bluetooth as well as USB for App Radio 1. iPhone. We want to put it to wireless Bluetooth, that way we don't have to plug our phone in. Then we're at the home screen. Now once you're on the home screen, there's a couple other things you're going to want to set up, like clock, colors to match your dash, and, you know, basically make it pretty. Yep. So we're going to walk you through making it pretty. It's going to be special. Hit the gears, come down here to hit the color palette, select background. Now you have five static backgrounds to choose from as well as three movie backgrounds and what I'm doing is I'm dragging my finger across just like this okay now we'll pick a movie next we'll pick illumination these are for the buttons on the side you have five preset colors a make your own color and a rainbow then you have themes this is going to be for the background. You have five presets, a blue, a red, an orange, a green, and a white. We'll pick, uh, pick orange. All right. And then clock. You have three different displays as well as no clock at all. 
we'll just leave it on the default for X. Now, of course, the clock is wrong, so we'll tap the clock, and this will get us to our clock menu. We can go in and set the date, the year, and then the time is fun. So the time actually you set in 24 hours, okay? But you tell it you want 24 or 12. So if you want 12, you see we're on 19, watch, magic, boom, 7, okay? So don't worry about that one. It's nothing to get freaked out about. All right, so we've got through the basic setup of it. We've set it to make it look pretty to match our dash. Now, what else should we do? Oh, wait, we should talk about what sources it has. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? So what sources does this new radio have? Well, it added some new upgrades to some old, and it added new to the, the new. To the new? Okay. That was confusing. All right, let's just walk through them. All right, so to check out the sources, there's two ways to do it. You can hit this drop-down menu here, and you can see them all right here. Or you can hit the home button, and you can click this icon right here. For this demo, we'll click that icon. Pioneer is great for having two buttons to get to everything. The 2800 has a standard AM FM radio. It's a CD DVD player. It goes right here. iPod uh, over Bluetooth or USB. In this case, it's over Bluetooth. Pandora over Bluetooth or USB. Uh, Pandora's new feature this year is... Spotify? No, Pandora's new feature, goofball. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Presets. Presets. You get six Presets. But yes, the new feature on the radio is... Spotify. That's right. So we have Spotify now. So this will give you control for Spotify. You still have Bluetooth audio for any other uh, music service you'd like to use, like iHeartRadio or Skitcher or Skecher or you know which ones you are. Uh, Sirius XM compatible with the v SVX300 tuner. Uh, it has the auxiliary input, which is located on the back like we showed you. AV inputs. Rear view camera select, so if you have a rear view camera in, you can hit that button and automatically pull up on screen. Source off and power off. Now you're saying, what's the difference? Previous versions of this radio just had source off. And if you click that, what it does, it would just go back to this and say off. The reason why it would do that was so that your Bluetooth would still work. You'd still be able to make and receive calls. No big deal. Now, however, because people were complaining, how come I can't just turn this all the way off? You have power off. And it, man, typical Pioneer fashion, pulls up a hey, yes, I want to power off. The reason why they do that is for the Bluetooth. So now the unit is off, off, dead, nothing's going to happen. You can't make and receive calls. It's just like when you turned your key off. Attach any button, and it'll come back on. Now while we're in this setup here, let's go ahead and we'll go to the main menu and we'll go to a couple other things that are important to know. Um, beep tone. You can now turn the beep off. That's a cool feature, finally. Oh, we'll come up here. Input output settings. Smartphone setup. This is where if you've had the radio installed and you it wasn't switched to other, you'd do that. All right. Camera settings. So, if you do have a backup camera, you can turn that on. And polarity is battery. 99.9% .9 is going to be battery. Don't switch it to that, okay? Because then what will happen is bad things. And if you can't figure it out, write a comment and I'll explain to you what you have to do next. Um, demo mode on and off. System languages. So, if if uh, the installer was set it to English and you speak something other than English, you can tap that and pick what you want. And then last but not least, we'll go into Restore Settings. Restore Settings allows you to bomb this radio back to factory. So if you've gone in and jacked this thing up or hit a setting and it's just not doing what you want, don't unplug it, don't hit the reset, which is located right there. Hit Restore Settings. It'll take it back to the factory out-of-the-box settings. And last, last but not least, is system information. This is where it's going to tell you what firmware your radio is running. The reason why you want to know that is because periodically throughout the year, Pioneer will push updates. And those updates will be done through firmware updates. Now, if you register your radio on Pioneer's website, they will send you out to let you know when there are updates. Or you could just periodically contact your dealer and or go to their website, go to your radio, Go down to brochures and updates, and it's right there. Ooh. Uh, you will need a Windows computer to do the update. Oh. I know.
know, right? It sucks. Okay, so what other cool things does this guy have? Let's turn the page and find out. Bluetooth. Bluetooth. As we said, this has Bluetooth, but not just any old Bluetooth. This has a whole new updated Bluetooth section. It has a new feature called dual Bluetooth foam pairing. What is that? Exactly. It allows you to now have two actively paired Bluetooth phones to make and receive calls. So if your phone and my phone are both paired to this unit and someone calls me, it'll I can answer it. If someone calls you, I can answer. And everyone can talk and be one happy family in the yeah. car. <gasps> Anyways, it'll do dual phone pairing for phone calls as well as music. So now if person A has a really cool Spotify library and you don't and they're paired to your phone, you can use their Spotify library and listen to their music. Pretty cool. And still make and receive calls on either phone. Hey. Sweet. Now, you also have Siri Eyes Free. Yeah. Which if we come over here and hit the phone icon, you have your presets, you have your phone book, ingoing, outgoing calls, hit that guy there and it'll pull up a nine key. And then this little guy right here is the push to talk feature. That'll push to talk to give you Siri eyes free, as well as if you have an Android phone and you have it set up to where you can just say, hey, call such and such, it'll do that as well. Now, if you want to see a video on Siri eyes free or any of the other stuff we've talked about during this video, we have individual videos on each and every feature. Yeah, wow. I know, right? So if, we're, if you're like, oh, they're going too fast, I don't know. No problem. Just go check out the feature videos and you'll learn more about the dedicated feature like dual phone pairing. We have... All these cool things. Everything. All that good stuff. All right, so. Audio. Audio. Yes, good call. EQs. EQs and audio. This guy has a really super duper in-depth EQ. Let's just, I, you know what? I'm just going to show it to you. Yeah. So I'll exit out of here. We'll come over here and we'll just turn it on radio because the source has to be on. We're going to hit this guy right here. We're going to come down here and we're going to go to that guy. Now, this is how you get to the sound settings. If you're on the home screen, if you hit EQ, this is a fast button to get to your EQ. You're going to have your five preset EQ settings as well as your two custom EQ settings. However, to get back, you have to do this. So now you have your balance and fader. Yippee. Uh, mute level control. Subwoofer on and off. Woo. Go crazy. Speaker level. Maybe I should do it right there. There we go. Speaker level, you can control the level of each in, each individual speaker, so it's different than balance and fader. Um, you also have crossover, so you have a front, rear, and sub crossover. Let's go back here and turn that back on. Fully adjustable, just by moving your finger and sliding back and forth. You have listening position. So you can tell where you're sitting in the car. And once you do that, you can do time alignment. You can enter in the measurement from your head to the speaker, as well as using the uh, volume speaker level control to adjust. As you notice, it changed when we did that. You can go in and play with that. So you get a perfect center image. You have save settings and you have load settings. So if you do take the time to go ahead and add in all those cool measurements and volumes and crossover points and set a really bitchin' EQ curve, make sure you hit save settings. What that'll do is that'll memorize it so when the battery gets disconnected for whatever reason, it's all there. Now, if you hit restore settings, it won't save it, but any other application you can load from what you've saved. You have bass boost. You have three channel loudness control, low, mid, and high. So you can make it sound good at low levels. Then you have automatic level control. Automatic level control, if you're one of those people that wants all music to play at the same volume, you can go here and you select mode one or two. And what that'll do is that'll level the output of the music so that it all stays at the same level. The intensity is one or two. So two is the most intensity, one is a little less. And then last but not least, you have these two grayed out features here, which are the auto EQ settings. Auto EQ could be done through the aux port on the back of the radio by using Pioneer's and or anyone's uh, little test microphone. Pioneer sells one. Uh, you can pick it up for about 20 bucks. 
um, as well as if you have a surround sound system at home and it came with a mic, you could use that too. Yep. How cool. All right, you got anything? Yep. You sure? Yep. All right, well that brings us Go ahead and wrap this up for us. All right, so thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as usual, you guys have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comments. And as usual, bye.